of the posture of the United States, European uh, powers, and even Russia and China with regard to Iran. And, and I think they've been relatively successful in that. Um, it has been used both by Israel and, I must say, uh, by the United States as well. Under the Obama administration, there was a good deal of sort of good cop, bad cop routine being played out uh, during 2012 when the Obama administration uh, was, was appearing to be alarmed by the intention, uh, supposed intention of uh, Israel to attack Iran in the spring of 2012, spring or summer of 2012, when in fact I think they knew perfectly well that that was not going to happen, but they were using it to uh, enhance uh, U.S. bargaining leverage in anticipation of talks in 2012. So uh, both, both Israel and the United States, I think, have played that threat of, uh, the supposed threat of, of an attack on Iran, essentially for political diplomatic purposes. All right. Thank you so much for uh, sharing your thoughts with us. Gareth Porter, journalist on U.S. national security policy. Thank you very much. A reminder of the breaking news this hour, six world powers and Iran have reached a historic nuclear deal, ending the decade-long deadlock over Tehran's nuclear ambitions. The breakthrough came on the fifth day of intense talks in Geneva. Under the terms of the agreement, Iran will allegedly regain access to assets worth $4 billion. Also, according to unofficial reports in the United States, Iran's nuclear program will be frozen. We'll keep a close eye on developments and we'll bring you, of course, the very latest as we get it in.